So my prediction is going to be U.S. 2, Wales 1. 2-1. Two, one. Yeah, Daniel James and Gareth Bale scared the shit out of me. So Sargent's our number 9. Pulisic is on the left. And then Wales on the right. So it feels very slow. So it feels like Wales isn't pressuring. They're just letting them play. Like they're just stopping at the halfway line. But the U.S. isn't attacking either. So like... I feel like Wells is waiting for the counter counterattack, and the U.S. isn't very pursuing attack that much. It's eight minutes, but you know. Nice. Come on, Dale! No! Damn it! That was good by Sergeant. That was good. That was good. That was good. Good job. Damn! That was almost an own goal. Then Sargent did really well to get to that header. Yellow card for Dest. Yeah. I think the yellow is a little excessive, but whatever. Another yellow. Already? Yeah, that one's deserved. I think out of... This is the fifth or the fourth World Cup game. I think this is the slowest starting one. The least amount of action. Nice opportunity by Wales. Not a lot going on in this game right now. It's really well, really good by um, by Musa. The U.S. is falling in a complacent and complaining mood right now, which I don't like. I think it's what benefits Wales, even if some referee calls are like not the best for us. Which I don't think that's actually been happening. If they're just complaining that it is. It just puts us off our game. I think they should just focus on the game. Try not let to let those things bug them. Des mostly right now is complaining. So just there what happened. Wells was looking for an, an option on the back and they didn't have it. So they just threw the ball forward and gave the ball back to the U.S. Um, again, I feel like the Wells isn't pushing to like build up a play. They're just looking for a counterattack. And I don't know. I guess the U.S. should be a little worried about that. Wary about that because like I feel, you know, I feel like our lines are very high right now. Come on. Damn. That was a good chance. That was a good chance. Too bad we didn't get a shot on target, but... Come on, come on, come on. Put it in the box. Damn, there's a lot of Americans. You can, you can feel it in the crowd. You can hear it. There are some empty seats, though, in the front, which... I've actually been noticing in each game, there's been empty seats. Which is kind of crazy for a World Cup. Ah, good pressure. Good pressure by, by way of there. Yeah, the commentators are making a great point. I do feel like Wales is very nervous. So every time they have the ball, they just, again, they just give it away. They're not doing well on the ball. Very good. Wales is really like, it's a 5-4-1 right now. Like, they're not budging. It kind of feels like they're playing for the tie. Even when they win the ball back from us, they just give it back. Possession, 57 US, 29 Wales, 16 in contest. Yo, that's a that's a yellow. That was off the ball. Come on, dude. He gave yellows for us, like for the dumbest things. That was off the ball. That was unnecessary. Damn, I said they shouldn't get into that, and I'm starting to get into that. <laughs> Whatever. So I said 2-1. I'm going to be lucky if it's 1-0 for either side at this point. I feel like a, a goal would open the, the scoreline a little bit. It'd make Wells want to come out a little more. It will open spaces for the U.S. too. So It's funny how much more hyped the U.S. fans are than the Wales fans. I think the, the Wales fans understand how bad this game is being. Plus the U.S. ones are just like, we're just happy to be here. <laughs> come on. Come on. Let's go. Goal! Oh, goal! Goal! Vamos! Super deserved. Super deserved. There. Onside. Beautiful bat pass by like Pulisic. And then Wea. Who punches it in. Or pokes it in, sorry. Damn. Let's go. See, the second we score, Wills actually gets out of the back. Yeah, I think that exactly what I said. I think now the floodgates are going to open. Now Wales is going to try to look for that, like, for the draw, obviously. And um, 
It's going to give us more spaces. Let's hope they don't score before we can score a second, maybe. If we can. Oh, no, Weston. Come on, Christian. Ah, good, good play, good play, good play. But if you see, well, if you look at Wales formation, they went from a 5-4-1. Five, five, from a 5-4-1, they're not at a 4-3-3. So, like, they did change their shape, at least. Nice. Nice. That's a yellow. Pulisic is having a very good game today. Yeah, Wales has had a very rough half. If I'm being completely honest, they didn't play well. U.S. did a good job breaking them down for their goal. But besides that, nothing else really happened. Okay, that's the end of the first half. So, yeah, no, I, I think it was a boring half. I think Wales had nothing in it. The U.S. had two shots. The one where they crossed it in with Wea, And it was almost a known goal. And off of that, we had a shot on target, which was saved by the goalkeeper. Um, and then, our, then the goal. Besides that, um, it's been very, very boring. The Wales have been just dropping back, and the U.S. has been trying to break them down. They successfully did once. After we scored, it looked like they were going to come out. They kind of did for like two minutes, and then they just went back into their little caves. Um, yeah, it's kind of boring at the moment. So hopefully the second half gets a little interesting. I feel like in the second half, after a team talk or something, Wales will Wales will have to go out and try to draw it but and tie the game. So, yeah, hopefully that opens up some more spaces. There's some more goals. My prediction is 2-1, so hopefully, hopefully we can score another one. Hopefully we don't even get scored on, but hopefully we do end up winning this game. That's a yellow for Reem, yeah. He, he cut the counter, so makes sense for that to be a yellow. Nice. Good press. Good press. Bell looks annoyed that he has to run so much. Feels like he's doing all the running for his team. They made him drop back to right wing. I did notice that. He's not a striker anymore. He's like changing between right wing, right man to, to striker constantly. The pressure is getting to the US, I think, right now. Wells is pressuring well. Oh, they got a crossing out of nowhere. Ramsey is going towards Bale. Cleared out. Sergeant with the pressure. Damn, I'm tired. I've been up since, what, 5 a.m.? Non stop watching this. And it's. It's 12.20 right now. Probably going to be up until 1. At this point, I'd kind of like to see Gio Reyna come in. Is he available? Is he okay? Or is he not playing? Maybe give Ferreira a little a little run too. Sarge is doing really well though. Uh, he's running a lot. I, I appreciate his the work ethic, the work rate he's putting in. Oh my god, that's great. That's a penalty! What? Wait, that's a VAR call. I feel like that was a very early ball. Hmm... No, nah, it's not. It's not a pen. It's not a pen. They um, they misread that. I think Wells. There was a lack of communication there. Oh my God! What a save by Matt Turner! What a save! That was Davies heading it. Yeah, that was a good save. Yeah, the U.S. defensively is looking a little shaky right now. Oh my God! Shit. <sighs> Just take a breather, guys. Relax. Try to use the fact that they're all trying to attack right now. Score one. McKinney out. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not injured or anything. Fresh legs in the midfield might might work. Come on. Yeah, I was saying like if Gareth Bale has an opportunity to shoot, even if it's like super far away, he will do it and he will probably score. So any opportunity you might give him a little bit of open space you have to close that down fast because he can be very dangerous oh shit that looks painful that looks like it hurt bill looks like he's out of gas he might need to be subbed out oh no he's pulisic limping do not pulisic come on oh bell stepped on him it wasn't on purpose but like that probably hurts robinson's been very good today so Des, Musa, and Sargent are all off. And then Yedlin, Acosta, and Wright are coming in. See, now I'm concerned because when you change a lot of players, then that thing that was functioning in the first 75 minutes, it could break. It depends on really how these players come in and start playing. So they're taking out a defender to put a number nine. This could be a good opportunity for the U.S. to attack a little bit. So it's going to be a, a three back. They went from a five back to a three back in the last 12 minutes. They did it very fast. That's a penalty. Dude. It's a clear penalty. Like, I was about to say, I have a bad feeling that 
the U.S. Play, playing better for 80 minutes and Wales trying for 10 was going to be a 1-1. I don't want to watch. I'm not watching. Come on, Matt. Come on, Turner. That's a goal. Dude. So unfair. So unfair. This is a great penalty. Right straight to the goalkeeper. Perfect. Imagine trying to get a draw from the USA. Nine more minutes. Jesus. They're just time wasting at this point. In their defense, the US was doing the same thing, but at least they were winning. That's the difference, you know? Damn, I'm hella salty right now. Come on, a late winner would be nice, but I doubt that's gonna happen. That's it. <sighs> Although we tied, it feels like we lost this game. We were the better team for 80 out of the 90 or 100 minutes. The last 10 minutes was back and forth, I would say. One stupid mistake by the US that cost us two points, which in the World Cup is a lot. I was hoping for a 1-1 against England and after seeing that performance. I mean, maybe in the first half, if we play against England like that, we might do okay. But that second half performance was just bad. As soon as I said it, I called it like as soon as that the substitutions came in, the U.S. lost the midfield. And when McKennie and um, and Musa left, that's it. We, we lost it. Um, Pulisic was tired by the end, and yeah, we lost it. Um, I was off by one goal, and that would have been our victory. But you know what? It was decent enough. Um, I will be reacting to all the U.S. games, even if it's only two more. I will also be doing a reaction to the Argentina game that's coming up. Um, Tonight, actually, for us, it's 2 a.m., so I'm excited for that one, and yeah, we'll see you next time.